Hi guys, Christy Grace with Christy Grace Scarlet Pen. I'm really excited to do my first ever Facebook Live with you guys. Um, so whether two people are going to watch, 20 people, 200 people or no people, I am doing this Facebook Live thing, which is really exciting. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to upload it a bit later on um, on my Facebook page so that everybody who missed out and who couldn't come at 10 o'clock in the morning because of work or whatever, um, you guys can see it later. So whether you're watching it live right now or later, welcome. And um, I'm really excited to be having a catch up and a coffee and I'm going to talk about some, some stuff like um, what it's like for me right now as a writer in sort of the lockdown or isolation that we've got right now with everything happening in the world uh, and maybe a little bit about my book that I'm writing because it's my first one and it's been pretty fun and exciting to go on as well. So I have my coffee. I'm not just sitting here and, and watching you drink coffee, although I don't get to see you, but that's okay. Um, but I have my very special CGSP mug, which I whipped up and printed. I think I just put it over the side there. But um, yeah, so it's pretty, pretty cool mug and I have, mm, I don't actually have coffee this morning, but I forgot to buy some. So, but I do have a hot chocolate in there, which I like as well. And it's actually a mint flavored hot chocolate. Just really nice. um, so yeah, so I've, I've, got, I've had a few goes at this mug choice. I've tried a few different options and this one I think I quite like. It's really sleek and fun. And I always have pens. Do you know what? It was the coolest thing ever. I decided I was like, oh, well, when I started CGSP, I was like, I'm going to print something up. I want something with like merch um, just to make myself feel a little bit more, uh, I don't know, legit, I guess. And um, I ended up with these pens and I actually have one right here. And it actually, I don't know if you can see that, it has Christy Grace Scarlet Pen engraved on um, on it. And they're just, they're really cool. So I bought more and I was like, they're the, they're the, they're best pens. Um, so it was just, it was fun. It makes it all feel real. Um, yeah, cool. So if you guys are watching and you have any questions or anything that you'd like me to answer or talk about, just pop that in the comments because I have no problems going along with that as well. Um, but for now, I am going to talk to you about what it's like in lockdown for me as a writer. Um, how has it affected productivity, creativity, and my sanity? <laughs> so, um, I before I get going though, in the uh, the description of this live video, there's a really special link, and it's special to me. And I wanted to bring it up just before we dive into my um, my topic today, because um, in the last year and a half, I have had a really fun journey and a really fun time. Um, writing um, a spy adventure which came out I think it was pro about every week I have a, like a short little um, bit to it and that got released and so that was my Hannah Carmichael Chronicles um, and it was just really fun to be sort of in the world of a spy for a little while and I started out um, just I would just do it and I just wrote whatever came every week um, and then eventually my plotting side came through and it became I knew what was going to happen quite far in advance <laughs> so I had I think when I got up to about um, installment 20 I knew there was going to be 70 so um, and it was all planned out um, but that's just I am that kind of a writer so you know that's okay but um, if the, the link is in the description if you wanted to see 30 of them uh, the installments I recently updated it all because a year and a half ago I'm a little bit better writing now and um, so I, I, do, I gave it an upgrade I gave it an upgrade but um, so you can get the first 30 for free because I'm really excited that on Friday I've announced on all my socials that I'm gonna release the entire 70s which has now been updated and it's all gonna be um, an ebook which is really cool it'll only be a, a few dollars but if you want to see the first 30 and you can just read them and for free and it's all in one document instead of on my website which is great so that'll be fun um cool so what has it been like for a writer in quarantine isolation lockdown whatever word you're choosing to use i thought it depends on what what sort of uh, lockdown or isolation you're in right now but we're going back a little bit towards a um, more normal of a life um, there's things opening up you can see a few more people which is really great um, but with all the craziness it's been 
an interesting few months for, especially for a lot of people. Um, for me, I, I have essentially been able to be a full-time writer. So my day job, I got stood down temporarily. Um, I am going back soon, but I'll talk about that in a bit. But, um, I, yeah, so I had nowhere to go every day. Um, cause recently when I decided to be fully, fully, um, engaged in my, my writing career and my passions and, um, I left my full-time job and I went into a school photography, um, environment. So, with schools closing, you can imagine how there wasn't really um, that much use for photographers. So um, essentially, I've been able to be a full-time writer, which has been really, really fun. I I really enjoyed it a lot more than I thought. And I used to, before lockdown, I used to be that person who wanted to go to the library because I couldn't work at home. I couldn't focus at home. It was, um, it was hard. But um, I found that because I can't go out, um, I got used to working in my home office. So I'm very blessed to be able to have a home office. Um, and then I get to, you know, decorate it with all my ridiculous things. I've got a police box back there and with has DVDs in it and um, all my books and things. So, you know, I'm comfortable in my home office. It's been really good. I've had a lot of time. There's been a lot of time to um, focus. Um, so because I, I'm not going to work every day, I have full attention to writing, which has been fantastic. I've really, really um, enjoyed it. And I really valued what um, what I got to be able to do in this time. So there, for me, there was positives and I like to try and see positives in the negative. And so um, because I was in quarantine and I couldn't go anywhere, um, I could only focus on my, my blog and my book and all of the cool things that I've been doing in that sphere, um, which was great. So I couldn't go out and do my research. I had a couple of things that I wanted to do still um, for the book and for some of the things that were going to happen. Unfortunately, because of everything, the places I wanted to go were shut down or the things I wanted to do, I wasn't allowed to. Um, things are opening a little bit, so hopefully in the next few weeks I'll be able to do a couple of those trips if they don't rely on um, a venue of some sort, um, if they're just outside in the wilderness. Um, but, but um, you know, and it was difficult as well because, you know, there's writer's block and when that happens it's challenging if you can't um, step out of your space um, and go somewhere else, talk to somebody, catch up with someone, um, just even go and sit and have a coffee somewhere else. So that was a little bit um, of a challenge in there as well. But overall, it's been really cool and, and really fun to be able to um, focus on writing completely. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I have I got uh, some instrumental music playing really, really softly on my computer. I don't know if you can hear that because I got a little distracted by that. That's okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, alrighty. Don't forget, you can comment if you have anything to that you want to ask me or want to talk about or anything like that. Happy to answer anything. Um, so going back to my day job um, will be fun. I I really like, like I said before, I'm, I'm in school photography now. So before that, I was working with some uh, an investigation company, and that was really cool um, and really interesting. But then I um, I felt like I, I reached my limit of where I could go with the job. It was really helpful because um, I was writing reports. And so there were technical reports. It wasn't so much creative, but it was really great for learning how to um, structure sentences and things like that. Um, but when I sort of hit that limit, I wanted to focus a little bit more um, on my writing. I decided to step out and just get something a little bit more um, part-time and, and a bit easier to sort of ease into that idea of, working part-time to support, you know, all of my bills and everything like that, but also being able to focus a bit more on writing. So my my job is uh, basically my day job. I get to go back um, beginning of term three. So that's really exciting. And because I am Melbourne, Victoria, we've had a little bit uh, slower of a, um, a, a way back to schools. <laughs> and so um, I am excited I'll be going back uh, July. So that'll be great. It still gives me another, you know, month month or so, month and a half, um, to keep writing and, and do as much as I can and get it all into this time when I have no other work coming my way. But I am excited to go back. It's a really great job. It's a really great company. Um, but I will be working from home. So it's a bit of a change, a bit of a shift again. Um, but it's it's fine. It's great. Um, I really like doing it. I get to look at all of the photos 
um, of kids um, when they are getting their group photos and sometimes when they're getting their individual portraits done. Um, and I get to make sure that everything is all looking good and that um, we're picking the right ones. And it's really interesting all the behind the scenes that goes into all of that stuff. Um, and so, you know, I help out with some other things here and there as well, which is really fun. Um, but what I love about my job, apart from the job itself, is the flexibility. So it's been really great to find a job where they where they don't mind a workplace where they don't mind and like you know we know everybody has a side hustle and so you know we want to you know make sure that you have time for that too um, which is great but also I don't mind working so when you do what you love you really don't mind working and I know that's a super big cliche but it's it's legit and it's real and I, I feel very blessed of the two three jobs that I get to do um, every day because I also have been working with music management company Westwood management and we've been doing the VMM which is for artists musicians who want to sort of get a handle on their career and, and do things like that so that's been incredible to be a part of as well and so I've got three jobs going. I always have had multiple projects happening at once, juggling everything. Um, but I like that. That way you never get bored and it's just always something interesting that you can do and um, focus on and then you can shift between them and you don't have to get bored. So it's good. Oh, it tastes really nice. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. So lockdown has been for productivity. It has been for me great. Um, I get to make my own hours right now and I get to find when I'm the most productive in the day and I don't have to um, fight with um, a, another job. Um, I can fit things into my own schedule, which has been really helpful. Um, and I found that it was really interesting because I used to think that I was really productive sort of between 10 and 4. And then when I got my own hours going, I became productive between 7 p.m. and 12 a.m. Um, and then in the last few weeks, I have actually found that that has shifted a little bit and it's become um, a more productive sort of back in that 10 till 4 um, bracket, which is um, fine. Um, I don't mind. Um, I just fit it in where I can. But yeah, I think that being able to have this home office and the space to, to focus on working has been really great. So productivity for me has been, you know, push you off the charts, <laughs> which is really, really cool. Um, creativity, I was a little bit worried about how, like I said, not being able to get out and break out of any writer's block or find inspiration outside of my own house and four walls. Um, I was worried about it, but it actually, I found it's fine. I'm still getting heaps of random ideas, sometimes nothing to do with my book or anything. Um, but I, I found that it's really, um, it's really easy to sort of feel creative. Um, even when, you know, you don't get to see or talk to too many other people. Although now that we've sort of moved a little bit more towards having online interactions and doing FaceTimes and things like that. You still get to see people and talk to them and, you know, I watch TV still or movies or whatever. Um, although at the moment I'm not watching them right now, just um, doing some other things, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, so I found that my creativity, I was really surprised. I was surprised that I, you know, that I was still doing good with that. I think I really did think that I was going to, um, really did think that I was going to have to put it on pause for a while, but I haven't. And if you hear my dog barking in the background, that's because she's right out the door and she barks at the front door when anything walks past. So she's a bit of a, bit of a lunatic, but that's okay. Um, love her. So good. And you see, you'll see all of the posts because she is just hysterical. I love posting about her. She's so funny. Um, cool. So yeah. So creativity. I like the, few re last few research trips I wanted to do I'm still waiting so hopefully that will unlock some extra some extra things in my book right now which I'm going through um so and then lastly I wanted to talk about my sanity um I'm hoping not to go too long for this live but um so um I I know a lot of people right now with, with isolation and things like that there's be, there's a lot of struggle right now um, and I really um, I really appreciate that struggle I know what it's like to struggle um, at the moment um, I'm doing really well with um, 
keeping my sanity, even though I'm at home um, and I live with people um, who sometimes, you know, it's fr it's frustrating. It's always frustrating to live with people. Um, but overall, um, I think that my, my introvert side has um, helped with, <laughs> with keeping up my sanity because I get to have a lot of time to process and be sort of... Um, be alone and, and process all my, because they say that writing is a very solitary act. Um, it can be. I actually quite enjoy having um, noise and hustle and bustle around me and where I can listen to um, other other things rather than just silence. I don't like silence. I am not a silence person. <laughs> there is no quiet for me. I like noise. So I always have music going, which is why I randomly left it on in the background. Um, <laughs> jazz instrumentals in the background. Um, I love jazz actually. That's a great, um, I have quite an eclectic taste for music. The only sort of genre that I don't like at this point is heavy, heavy metal or screaming or, you know, that sort of punk genre. That's really not my thing, but if that's your thing, that's, you go for it. Like, that's great. My sister loves that kind of music. So, you know, but it's just not for me. So, um, I hope you all are going really well with, um, keeping your sanity during lockdown. I, I hope that if you are struggling that you're going to reach out to somebody. I posted um, a video recently on my um, CGSP YouTube page um, and I baked a cake. So that was one way that I could break out of my office uh, and while I was having a block and that was a really cool way to do that. But it's also, I think I mentioned in the video, it's, it's important if you're struggling to sort of reach out because your family and friends, we care about you. We want you to be okay. So, um, you know, it's, it's difficult for everybody. Um, and some people are losing their patience a little bit in general for people, other people and life. And, um, they're not being the most, uh, compassionate toward each other but if we continue to just we just need to stand with each other and keep going and it'll be it'll be all okay like things are gonna things are gonna calm down and we'll go back to normal life although probably a little bit different but that's all right but then you'll have my book to keep you comfort <laughs> to give you comfort when it comes out next year so you know there you go um cool 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 well nobody has really um got any questions for me this time which is totally cool this is my first one i wasn't sure if there was going to be any in the all but that's all right um but that's um so that's almost about it for me for my first live it's been really fun whether you are like i said whether you're watching it now or whether you decide to watch it later tonight at 8 p.m when you've finished work and you've had your dinner and you're just scrolling through facebook i'm really glad that you stuck this far to the end <laughs> it's only been about 18 minutes or so. Um, just before I log off, I want to remind everybody, I have got something really cool that I'm doing while I write my book. Um, I'm doing a podcast. So every month I've got this new, uh, new podcast episode um, about where I am in my journey in writing. Um, I'll be doing this month's will be coming out next week. Um, and it's about my method writer approach. So instead of being a method actor, I like to be a method writer. I've done things like getting into the boot of a car and closing the door, uh, just to see what it's like in there and spending 10 minutes in there just by myself. Um, uh, or I've gone places and, um, explored. So, and there's been, I recently, the last one that I've the last video I posted on YouTube um, of my method writing adventures was um, smashing a phone. So what was it like to throw a phone out of a car while it's moving and see how it, how it broke, if it broke. Um, Cause I got some really old ones just to test it out. And miraculously it was very difficult to break them. <laughs> so the older phones were made better. I understand that, but that's okay. But so that was quite fun. So um, I'll talk a bit about my, my approach to that and why I do that. And a few more of my, um, fun adventures that I've done. So that'll be really cool. That's going to come out next week, but eventually I'll be doing things like talking about the characters in the book. Um, I'll introduce you to them and, and what it's like to launch, um, and keep going with it and doing things like the front cover and things like that, because I'm doing an assisted self publish. It's, I get a lot of, um, a lot more, uh, of a view into what it's like to actually all aspects of releasing it, not just write it and hand it over to somebody else. So it's been really fun and exciting. And I'm so creative in all sorts of different areas that doing it that way for me has been really, I'm really excited to do all of those things, not just 
the writing side. So, um, yeah, so that comes out next week. It's really exciting. Don't forget, grab your Hannah freebie. It is in the description, the link that you can go to. I'd really love you to read it. Um, and while you're waiting for my book to come out, you can give it a read and go through it and take it away on a spy adventure. She's got her husband goes missing and her mother, who is a known enemy of the state, um, has something to do with it. And she finds out a conspiracy with her um, spy agency and there's all shadowy figures and it's all very mysterious and exciting so um i tried to make every installment um as um exciting as i could i don't like keep word that you keep using that word but i don't have a thesaurus on hand um <laughs> so uh yeah hopefully that's still um pretty adventurous and pretty mysterious um yeah so don't forget to grab that because we are bringing out the um the ebook on Friday, like I said, it's gonna be super exciting. I will be posting and blasting it everywhere, <laughs> so you'll be able to grab that. It'll be really great. So uh, I've really enjoyed having this chat with you, and I hope that you enjoy it whenever you're watching it. Um, and I'll hopefully I'll be doing another live in um, the next few weeks. Um, but otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.